So I'm going to show you how to set up email alerts on your Microtik router for specific log topics. I'm going to use a Gmail account to do this. Uh, so I'll leave a link in the description for all the documentation that I referenced uh, to, to set this up. Um, in order to use the Gmail account uh, to send the emails, I have to set up an app password. Uh, and I, I think other email providers do a similar thing, but I'll leave a link on how to do this in the description. Um, once the app password is set up, um, this is the instructions for uh, setting up the router to use the Gmail SMTP server to send emails. Um, a few things to note here, so the uh, the name of the server is smtp.gmail.com and you have a choice, there's two ports here, 465, 587. So 465 is for implicit TLS and 587 is uh, if you want to use start TLS. Um, and um, you can use either one with uh, Microtik. So I'll go ahead and copy uh, the server name here and go back to uh, the web fig here. So I'm just going to put that in here where it says server and uh, I'm just here inside of tools and email. So this is where you configure like the global settings for email for the router. So pretty much anything else that uses uh, email on here it's it, it can use um, this configuration here to send emails. Uh, the next field is the port. Uh, so they did give us two options here 465 587 so if I decide to use 465 um, which is implicit TLS I have to check this box TLS only so TLS only is when you're using um, that port with implicit TLS if I use the other way uh, 587 which is start TLS I'll just come here I'll put 587 and then start TLS, I change this to yes. So yes is when you're you're doing start TLS. Okay, so that's the first part. The second part is from, this is just like the sender name that appears in the email. So I'm gonna put Microtik router and user and password, that's for your Gmail account. So I'm just going to fill this in here username, password, okay, and um, when, you, when you're done with that and you have it filled, it filled out, you want to press the apply button and that will save your settings here. Um, and once you've done that, another thing you can do is send email. So you can actually test out your configuration. Uh, the top part, it just takes the defaults from what we set up earlier, so you don't have to fill that out. Um, in two, that's the email that you want to send to, and then you can do CC uh, from. That's like the sender name, uh, and then of course you can do subject body. You know, do an attachment, and that's how you can set up the configuration for email. So the next thing to do is to configure the types of logs uh, that you want to be emailed. So I'm just here in system and logging. I'm going to start in the action section. And this is where I'm going to configure the action um, to email and you know where to send the emails to. So I'm going to go to add new and I'm just going to call this, e this action email. And the type is going to be email. And in the email section, this is where you're going to put the email address of where you want uh, the alerts to be sent to, so the recipient. So, and uh, start TLS, you don't have to do that, it will take on the default setting. So once that's finished, click apply and click OK. So now we have our action to send an email. And if I go back into rules, I'm going to create a rule for that specific um, log type that I want to alert for. And the action is going to be the email action that we just created. So in the Microtik documentation, um, they list all the different types of log topics here. 
the one that I'm going to do is account and I want to um, and I want all of the account events although you could filter this for specific ones uh, so like on this page they show an example um, you can do NTP debug so you know all of the log events that are NTP and debug and then um, you can exclude things with the exclamation mark right so you can say exclude anything that's a packet so if I were to do that it would look like this so like topics you know I would go to NTP and then I would select debug and then the next thing I would go to packet and then I would check this box so then that would exclude packet so that's what they're doing there uh, I'm just going to do the account events so I'm gonna go to topic and it already has account selected uh, I want all of those and the action is going to be email and then click apply and now when you log in and log out um, whatever you do it will send an email so I'm gonna go ahead and log out and then I'm going to log in and I'll show you what those emails look like okay so after logging in and logging out uh, these are the emails that I sent uh, so this is the Gmail account that I'm using to send the emails and I'm also in this example sending it to this Gmail account that's why it says me here uh, because it's like I'm sending it to myself uh, but over here you can see the content of the log so system info account user and then the username logged in logged out um, the IP of the client from where they logged in and where it was so it was in webfig 